Hello everybody, it's The Warm, and I'm back for what is probably my last video on VLR. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the last video. Last two times I had intended to go over the final secrets within the game, but I forgot both times. But now here we are. This is, this is my final little addendum to Virtue's Last Reward. So let's find the ones we haven't seen yet. Oops, no. Those ones. Here we go. Looks like some complicated ones, so let's see how this uh, this will go. Swimsuit. For some reason, Sigma, or perhaps the author, seems to be unnaturally obsessed with swimsuits. Why is that? Was he involved in a horrible swimsuit accident? Now repressed. In his youth? Did he have a crush in high school on a girl on the swim team who put her Olympic aspirations ahead of any possible romance? Is he just a perv? world may never know. Indeed. Password into input device. This device can be used in an emergency to deactivate the antimatter bombs hidden throughout the facility. It doesn't really have any official name. Sometimes it's called the designated computer terminal, but sometimes it's just the input device. The device has a small QWERTY keyboard beneath the LCD display. On the top is a large black cable, which can be attached to the bomb you wish to deactivate. Entering the correct password on the keyboard will stop the detonation. Straightforward enough. Antimatter... what was it? Reactor. In a general sense, an antimatter reactor is a system that generates electricity, or some other form of power, from, anti from matter-antimatter reactions. This facility uses hydrogen and antihydrogen. The reactions power a turbine, which generates... Gener energy and powers everything in the facility. It looks like a gigantic octopus, but it's definitely not edible, no matter how you cook it. Cook it. Yeah. Cook it. Antihydrogen atom. A particular type of antimatter, normal hydrogen ha atoms have one proton and one electron, but an antihydrogen atom has the opposite, one antiproton and one positron. In November 2010, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, is issued a statement announcing that they had captured an anti-hydrogen atom. They claimed that they had gathered 38 of them, in fact, and managed to hold them in a special container, container for 0.2 seconds. Less than six months later, in June 2011, they managed to capture several more anti-hydrogen atoms and contain them for more than 1,000 seconds. Although the creation and storage of antimatter is still a difficult obstacle, these results suggest these antimatter reaction reactors could someday be a possibility. TNT equipment. TNT is often used as a reference point when discussing the power of explosive devices. Specifically, the explosive power explosive power is usually described by tonnage. The amount of energy one ton of TNT produces is approximately 4.184 gigajoules. This means that an explosive device with an output of 1 megaton generates 4.184 petajoules. TNT stands for Trinity Tallow... no, Tronti Tilotrin... no, Trinidad and Tobago? Ah, yes. Trinitrotoluene. That's it. It's one of the most common explosives, which is how it came to be a reference point. A kilogram of TNT has 4.184 megajoules of energy, but a kilogram of butter has 30 megajoules. Butter is some dangerous stuff. Wow, fascinating. Trinitrotoluene. Luene? Hmm. I never knew that. <laughs> I mean, everyone, pretty much everyone's heard of TNT, but I didn't know what it actually stood for. E equals MC squared. Ooh, this one has a different background. Einstein's famous equation, put simply, it means that energy, E, is equal to mass, M, times the speed of light, C, squared. 
it describes how much energy you'd get by annihilating matter with antimatter, a lot, but also carries the interesting implication that with enough energy, you could theoretically create matter. That's crazy. Uh, 63 terajoules. The amount of energy you'd get by combining 350 milligrams of each of matter and antimatter. You can get this number using the equation equals E equals mc squared. 5. What do you get when you convert 700 milligrams to kilograms? Alice. 7.0 times 10 to the minus fourth, 0 0.0007 kilograms. 5. Then what's the speed of light? Alice. About 300,000 kilometers per second. If you convert that to meters, you get 3.0 times 10 to the eighth, or about 3 billion meters per second. 5. And what if you square that? Alice. 9.0 times 10 to the 16th. 5. And then if you multiply that times the original mass, Alice, you get 63 times 10 to the 12th, uh, 63 trillion. Okay, I don't remember what this is in reference to, but all right. All right, simple enough. Okay, Minkowski space. I do, I did try to look this up, but it, unfortunately, much of it did go over my head. Minkowski, a way of describing reality that adds a fourth dimension of time to the three dimensions of space. It was described by German mathematician Hermann Minkowski, and therefore bears his name. It also, it's also the name of a ski resort for miniature cows. How nice. Lagomorph. The scientific name for the order to which rabbits belong, and Zero the Third's actual name. Huh. I was thinking it was going to be something else. But, okay. I mean, fine. Rabbit, Lagomorph. Hmm. I, I guess the name sounded a lot cooler than what it actually ended up being a reference to. Okay. Emilji and Alice. When they were split up at the red, blue, and green chromatic doors, Emilji told Alice that there was something he had to tell her. That something was, of course, his identity, and that he had already know he already knew about Alice and Eisenheim, and not because he'd heard about it from Clover. All right, fair enough. Emilji and Clover. After the second round of the AB game, after going through the purple and green doors, Alice, or Clover, as a solo, was heard to say the following to Tenmyoji, her opponent. What the heck did you mean with all that? It's not fair. If you're telling the truth, then I... So, what had Tenmyoji said to her? The same thing he'd meant to say to Alice, of course. He told her who he was. That simple fact shook Clover's resolve and made her vote ally. It probably hadn't been his original intention to betray her, but after thinking about Quark's safety, he probably felt he had no choice in who to betray. Man... I, I do remember the scene, of course, but I didn't. But I didn't. Um, I didn't go back to look at it again or think about it again since the whole Tenmyoji uh, Junpei reveal. And man, that's got a sting for Clover. That's got to suck to have Junpei betray her. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. Ugh. AB Project. A can stand for after, and B for before. But they can also stand for anima and body. Everything that have Everything that happened in this facility was part of the AB Project. Oh. Mystery of Phi. So, who was Phi? There are a few clues scattered get throughout the story, but nothing includes the pressure to... No, 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 no. <sighs> yeah, this is what... I talked about this in the epilogue. I mean, look, look, I, I hope they stick the landing. I hope that Zero Time Dilemma is amazing, and I love it, and it, it is able to wrap everything up nicely and give a satisfying answer to everything and, you know, give her an interesting background. But I'm just saying, at the moment, I don't feel very... I feel dissatisfied with the way things are now, and this is... This is definitely one thing I feel dissatisfied about with, with Phi. Okay. And deactivation passwords. Here's a little something more about the bomb deactivation passwords. Those passwords, they aren't just gibberish. There's something hidden in each one. I'll give you... I can give you... 
I can only give you one hint. Plus one. Good luck. There's a lot more to the story, but I think we'll stop the secret archives here. Thank you for playing, and we hope you enjoyed the game. Oh, well, thank you. Hmm. Now, hold on here. Now, wait one second. Bomb deactivation passwords. Let me check something. Okay, let's let me look at this real quick. Myrmidons. Yeah, okay, so it is it is as I suspect. So it's it's plus one is referring to move it to the next letter in the alphabet. So I found so one that Dio gives is and this is the one where he's been tackled by Alice. So that password is just Myrmidons. How about that? Okay, let me look at this one. E Q D D Y R N T K. Let's see this. F R E E Free Z S O U L Free Well S S O U L so free Z soul, free Z soul, free the soul. Is that what it's supposed to be? Okay. So that's two. Where are the other ones? Here's another one. So we got Mirrodons, free the soul, and then here's another with LXA, QNS, GDQ, M, Y. MYB MYB huh. MYB R O T H E R What in the world did I just Hang on, let me, let me actually write it down instead of just trying to... M... Oh, don't be out of ink. Okay, there we go. M... M, Y... T 
H uh, E and R. Much easier when I'm actually writing it out. My brother. Perfect. Okay, now where's the last one? Here it is. B Q Z R G D R G J D X R. Let's see. B. Okay, so C R. I guess A. S. H. K E Y S Crash Keys Crash Keys Crash Keys What does that mean? Crash keys. Crash keys. I don't know. Well, that was kind of fun. And with that, I think we've done everything. And that means I'm finally done with absolutely everything in Virtue's Oster Ward. Okay, so that should wrap up this little addendum. Again, sorry for uh, forgetting two times in a row, but hey, we got there in the end. So I hope you've all been doing well. I've been the warm. This has been Virtue's Oster Ward, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.